Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire begins in the summer before Harry's fourth year at Hogwarts, following events that hint at the return of Lord Voldemort. The Riddle House is the site of a murder witnessed by Frank Bryce, a muggle gardener who is then killed by Voldemort. Harry is at the Dursleys' home when he experiences a painful dream involving the events at the Riddle House. Promptly, he is rescued from his unpleasant stay by his friend Ron Weasley and taken to the burrow, the Weaselsies' home. Here, Harry learns of the upcoming Quidditch World Cup, which he, Hermoyne, and the Weasleys attend. The event is marred by the appearance of Death Eaters, Voldemort's followers, who terrorize the Muggles present. Upon their return to Hogwarts, the school prepares to host the Triwizard Tournament, a prestigious event involving three magical schools, Hogwarts, Bowbatons, and Durmstrang. The tournament is intended only for students over 17, but Harry is mysteriously entered, and the magical Goblet of Fire selects him as an un unprecedented fourth competitor. In the first task of the tournament, the champions must retrieve a golden egg from a dragon. Harry successfully completes the task by summoning his broom with the Oxio charm to outfly a Hungarian horntail. Meanwhile, friction arises between Harry and Ron, as Ron suspects Harry entered himself for the fame, resulting in a temporary fallout between the two friends. During the festivities surrounding the tournament, Hogwarts hosts the Yule Ball, a traditional dance. Harry and Ron's inexperience with girls leads to an awkward experience, but the event also brings Ron's growing feelings for Hermione into the spotlight. In the second task, champions must rescue someone valuable to them from the depths of the Black Lake, filled with merpeople. Harry shows his characteristic bravery by not only saving Ron, but also staying behind to ensure all the hostages are rescued. His compassion earns him extra points, evening the playing field. As the year progresses, journalist Rita Skeeter publishes defamatory articles about Harry and other individuals at Hogwarts. Hermione eventually discovers Skeeter's secret to obtaining private information. She is an unregistered animagus, taking the form of a beetle. Harry is helped through the tournament by Mad-Eye Moody, the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. However, as the tournament reaches its third and final task, involving a dangerous maze with magical obstacles, suspicions about Moody's behavior begin to arise. Cedric Diggory, a fellow competitor and Hogwarts student, and Harry mutually decide to claim victory together, but upon touching the trophy, which is a port key, they are transported to a graveyard. There, Peter Pettigrew enacts a ritual to rejuvenate Voldemort, who returns to a physical body. A reborn Voldemort summons his Death Eaters and duels Harry, intending to kill him. During the duel, their wand's twin cores cause a rare Priori incantatum effect, and spirits of Voldemort's victims, including Harry's parents and Cedric, appear. They shield Harry long enough for him to grab Cedric's body and the portkey, returning to Hogwarts. The return is chaotic, with Cedric's death and Harry's claims about Voldemort's return meeting disbelief and panic. Soon it's revealed that Moody is actually Barty Crouch Jr., one of Voldemort's devoted servants, who has used Polyjuice Potion to assume Moody's identity. Crouch had manipulated the tournament to ensure Harry would win and be transported to Voldemort, aiming to fulfill his master's plan. Dumbledore reinstates the Order of the Phoenix, an organization dedicated to fighting Voldemort, as the wizarding world faces the reality of his return. The Ministry, however, led by Cornelius Fudge, refuses to believe that Voldemort is back, setting the stage for political strife within the magical community. Harry is deeply affected by the murder of Cedric and the terrifying resurrection of Voldemort. Despite the denial of the Ministry of Magic, he, Ron, Hermione, and the rest of the magical world must now face the fact that the Dark Lord has returned and that darker times lie ahead. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.